Well, hey everybody out there, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are looking at the strategy game Corridor. It's for two or four players, ages eight and up, and the average game time is just about 15 minutes. If you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that, it sure does help us grow. And if you feel so inclined, if the videos helped you in any way, you can always Support us directly by visiting the application Buy Me a Coffee. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There's the board, four pawns, and 20 boards. To set up, place the board in between the players. Set your wooden boards to the side like this. Place your pawn in the center space on the baseline like this. Now we're ready to play. On a player's turn, you have two options. Move your pawn or place a board. If you choose to move your pawn, you can move it one space, either horizontally or vertically. If you choose to place a board, you can place it anywhere on the game board, either horizontally or vertically, but it must be placed like this. You cannot place it halfway like this. If a board is placed in your path, you cannot jump over it. You must move around it. If two pawns meet face to face on the board, a player can jump over the opponent, so long as there isn't a board impeding their ability to do so. If that is the case, the player may move to the left or the right of the pawn in front of them. This would be the only time that a player can move diagonally. The first player to get their pawn to the opposite side of the board is the winner of the game. In a four-player game, players get five boards each. The pawns are placed in the center of each side of the board. The game is played the same as a two-player game, just be the first player to reach the opposite side from where you started. And that's how you play Corridor. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short presentation on Corridor. If you've got any questions, you can always drop those off in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. And now we know the basics, so let's play.